This is the GORUCK GR2 26 liter in 500D. This is one of my favorite bags on planet Earth. I absolutely love it. I literally just got in the door 30 minutes from a trip. Um, it's a four day trip that we took to our in-laws or my in-laws. My wife's obviously not her in-laws, but you get what I'm saying. And I took only this bag. I mean, kind of. Um, for the most part, everything I needed was in this bag. I'm not gonna, this is not a review of this bag. I'm gonna talk about what I packed for the trip and kind of like a little update on some modifications I did, like these side handles from Scars. To start with the side handles and the updates, GORUCK is a company that has a, a warranty service called Scars. Basically, Scars is a is their warranty service team, and they will fix anything that they possibly can. And it's one of those things where a lifetime warranty really is a lifetime warranty in this case. They can't fix it, they will send you a new one. I've heard that one of the biggest problems people have, oops, this is driving me nuts. One of the biggest problems people have is that they get so sentimental about their bags because they've had them for so long that scars, if they can't fix them, like after 10 years of abuse, then they almost don't want a new bag. But uh, I had a buddy who had that situation and they turned his bag into a pouch for him. I'm not saying they do that every time, but that is hella cool. In any event, um, they also have a customization service. Their customization service is kind of the type of thing where um, they have a bunch of things that you can possibly do and in the past, they used to kind of like entertain other ideas, but these days I think they're kind of hunkering down and doing the things that, you know, are, are um, the most common requests are becoming the, the, the norm and, and you just pick from those requests. So uh, for me, what I got done on my bag is a, I have a side handle here. Since this is a travel bag, I thought these side handles would be very useful. I like how they installed these side handles because if you look at the top handle, Go Rock Bag top handles have like this kind of um, webbing built in for added sort of structure, I suppose. And they don't do it on this one. And I think the main reason they don't do it um, is because if you see here, what ends up happening is there's like a little bit of material here so that the handle sticks up off the bag, makes it easier to grab. These don't actually stick up off the bag very much and that's because they don't have that little extra thing, but they're easy enough to grab if you need them. The other thing I got done is uh, in this front pocket here, I got a key ring added where my keys are hanging out. I did drive to where I was going, so probably didn't really need to go like one bag, but you know, why not? The last of the um, modifications I did now, before I talk about this one, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, I had this request in before they stopped doing this altogether, and this particular thing took so long and so much effort from their guys that I'm 100% sure they definitely, like, hate the idea of doing this again i'm just guessing but man it was a it was an ordeal um so i i got a quick access pocket added up here on the top so there's a zipper goes across here now because of the way the gr2 is this could only be a very small opening they have to make these kind of adjustments and also pass all the stress tests and it this seemed to be like a nightmare to do um, because of that, the, the opening is actually quite small. The pocket itself is, is fairly big. It kind of goes from here to here, but uh, the opening is like yay big. So that's something um, very cool to have it. Honestly, in use during the weekend, I did not put anything in there yet. I had my wife's headphones in there for a little while. Um, I, I don't think this is, I mean, obviously it's not necessary. You're not gonna be able to get it done anyway, but not, Later in the future, if this becomes a feature on the bag, I would say what they'll end up doing is moving it up here somewhere or moving it somewhere else on the bag. It won't be back here. But just my thought, um, I did confirm with them they are not doing that anymore. So uh, unfortunately, that's not something you'll be able to get done. But the rest of these modifications are definitely something you will be able to get done. And I think of all of the modifications I've got done, the ones that these side handles are like a must on this bag if you have a chance to send it in. As I said, I took only this bag. What I love about this bag is that because of the way it is, you can see here, it's a bit fat. So it's like a GR1 21 liter here with like a six liter pouch strapped onto the front. 
Uh, it's great for me because I'm short. So what ends up happening is this bag has a very good, um, the GR121 liter is a perfect size for my back. And this bag is that size. So it fits me just like that bag does. Yet it does carry a lot more because of this outside part here. That makes it near on the perfect travel bag for me. And I can use it daily as well. It's just that I think that I have so many bags that um, it ends up being my travel bag. Uh, it stands up perfectly well on its own, as you can see here. The 500D material um, is very nice. There was a mix up recently where they sent some of these bags in 1000D and there was all kinds of a hoopla about it. Um, that definitely sucks. As far as I know, all of the ones that are shipping now are 100% definitely 500D. Uh, honestly, I don't think that's a big deal either way. And part of me almost wishes mine was 1000D in some cases. At first I was stoked on the 500D, but I don't know if it's like a big deal either way. I think I'd be happy with 1000, be happy with 500. 1000D, you just have to work it in a little bit. Obviously, it can be a little bit detrimental to your clothes if you wear certain types of clothes. I don't, so for me, that wouldn't make any difference. But anyway, it's there. I will say with the 500D, it feels a little bit like broken in 1000D after a while, but um, it makes going around these corners a lot smoother. Um, the other GR2 I tried was 1000D, and these corners here with these rain flaps were pretty tight to get around. You've got a bunch of zippers here, so that was kind of a thing. Um, I don't know if that would be the case on the new ones. I can't talk for them, but that is something to keep in mind. Anyway, all those things aside, uh, as I said, it's not a review of this bag, so I'm not going to get into too much detail anymore. Um, I will say, though, this one has a ballistic bottom on the bottom. The bottom is ballistic, so there is that. Uh, the front compartment here is great for travel because basically what this ends up doing is being like its own little thing. So what I did was when I got to where I was going, I kind of went like this and then all of my tech and everything was in here. I had like my, um, I'll show you in this front compartment, I have a wire dop and the wire dop, uh, has like sleeping headphones and, uh, sleeping cables for a couple of different phones. And I just kept that right in that front pocket. And then there is another pocket back here. I don't know if you can see that, another zippered pocket. Um, smartly, they have the zipper on the other side, so it starts up here. I don't ever use this pocket, so I actually tuck, tuck the zipper uh, up under here, so it never becomes a thing. It just happens to be a meshy looking pocket. On this particular bag, um, I don't actually use this very much either because I have this side to do that. Uh, so it's kind of like just an emergency pocket if I do need it. My keys are clanking around in there. Uh, I will say because of the way this bag works, because there's this space up here, like on a GR1, um, this front slam pocket is right on the front of here. So like the packing cubes and everything are pushing against this pocket. So it ends up being very like really tight. But on this one, because there's some space there, it actually doesn't end up being tight at all. I have like uh, my mask and some hand sanitizer in that guy. So anyway, like I said, it flaps down like this and there is a little bit of volume there, like about maybe that much or so that you could use for something if you wanted to. Up here on this pouch, um, basically what I did was I kept this, uh, toolkit thing. Uh, in the toolkit, I kind of had like everything I might need, like suddenly, uh, including my charger, a, uh, Swiss army knife, and a pen. Um, and yeah, I ended up using that the whole weekend for certain things or whatever. Um, in these mesh pockets up here on the top, I had my wallet. And then uh, I have like a, a different Swiss Army knife that I just kind of like carry all the time. It ends up just being next to my wallet. And that was it. So what I end up doing with this bag usually before I got this pocket added is that um, the bag will be like this. Something like, like this. And I don't think it needs this pocket exactly because of my focus here. Exactly because of this feature. Because basically for me, all I have to do really is open this one pocket. And then I have like these mesh pockets here. And then this whole pouch ends up being like a big quick access. And because of where it's located, nothing comes out, nothing shifts. I know you guys love the idea of this pocket, but I'm telling you, I don't think the GR2 really needs it. Obviously it sounds weird since I got it, but then that was kind of, I put in the request before I use this bag a lot. I just knew I liked it and I, I thought, well, if I'm gonna do it to anything, do it to this. 
the laptop sleeve is uh, back here on the back. I do have my laptop in it. The la it's a 15 inch laptop. There's a lot of room to spare there. Uh, you can probably get a bigger one in there, but um, my laptop is perfectly safe and fine in there. The main compartment is back here. These zippers are very smooth. And then it's clamshell opening like this. And this is exactly how I had it packed out. Um, aside from, I'll explain these in a second. Uh, so I have my iPad and stuff in this Philip Raw book pouch. Uh, my toiletries and kind of emergency stuff all goes in this uh, mission workshop um, axis. Because basically what happens is on the go, um, this thing turns into like a sling. So like uh, on my second day of the trip, uh, I had to do like a Starbucks run. I just chucked everything out of this, used it as a sling, had my wallet and stuff in there. So I use that for that, keep it in. And then otherwise it's holding my toiletries. Um, I don't use any of these things. You can see the sack of that pocket up here. Uh, this is the packing cube I used. It's gotten a little bit floppy because some of the t-shirts have gone here. It's a GoRock 10 liter packing cube. And uh, what I do when I travel is I actually open it up like this and stick it here. Take this stuff out and then uh, put this on the floor like this and I can go out of it. And then if I need the tech, I'll go into the front compartment. So it works great like that. This is stuffed with stuff at the moment. So what I always do with the GR2 is I'll have this with my like fresh clothes. <laughs> I put my dirty clothes in this pocket here. Uh, and then there, yeah. So those are the shirts I wore the other day, the days. And then I just take them out and wash them when I get home. Uh, you'll see the zipper pulls here are different. So on the pocket back here, they're coyote. On this pocket, they're wolf gray. And then the rest of them are black. Some people get annoyed by that, but I think it's actually kind of cool. Uh, open this top one here. I just have like a mask um, and just some other junk that I might need on the go. I don't use this Molly for anything and I don't use this Rock Pocket for anything. When I use this bag daily, like an EDC bag, I actually throw my laptop in this guy and then just put my pouches and stuff in here and then it makes the bag feel, because if you take this out and if you just use the bag, you know, it kind of like moved down like this and it doesn't, it doesn't look big at all, like on the daily. Um, that packing cube down here is what makes it look chunky at the time of filming this video which is um january 31st 2022 this bag is available on the go rug website you can definitely pick it up i put a link down in the description below it's a great bag um it was at scars for a very very long time and i missed it so very much really it was like um well i i really missed this bag in any event that is uh, the GORUCK GR2 26 liter, um, my favorite bag. And not a whole lot else to say other than that. What I will say is that um, uh, going forward at some point, I guess I'll do like a proper review of this bag. It's one of those things like uh, when I use a bag so often, it's hard to review it because I, I just love using it so much. And I know, look, it's gonna seem like fanboyism. It is a little bit. I. It just works for me, so there it is. That's all for today. Talk soon. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, the next couple of videos on the channel are not at all related to um, GORUCK stuff, so if you're looking for other stuff, then that'll be nice for you. I think the next video is a TAD video or a triple lot design, and then the following one is actually something pretty um, cheap. And small and then i've got a slings review thing coming up um just waiting on one thing to show up for that so that's it talk soon bye bye oh and uh happy new year <laughs>